Okay, and then is there a plastic filler? Okay, there's a metal snap ring on that off. this unloaded and we are going to load it up with some sand and we're going to give it a try well we're getting ready to demonstration of this noon sand truck and before we put anything in it we're going to run it across the scale to get an empty weight $45,500 with a load on it and we have to get an empty weight of it yet so he's just going to pull up to where we pile our sand in this commodity shed bay we're going to put a little bit of sand in it we're going to run it off make sure our guy knows how to run the controls and then we'll put a big load on it and we'll take it over to the heifer barn and bed some uh, heifer stalls with it. This is where we pile our sand. We pile it in two uh, commodity bays, or two bays up to the commodity shed. He's just gonna put a bucket load or two on, empty it off, and then we'll, we'll put a big load on it after that. bucket load going in you want one Dan or you want two okay but one more on and then he'll just pull up to this bay and offload it and then we'll put a big load on i don't know probably should stick with one bucket load it'd be easier to shovel off than two if it don't work you know you you're gonna some, be you're gonna have some faith in it. yeah yeah 
You're buying lunch, right? If we gotta shovel this off? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> You can just pull up and dump it right in this bay, Dan. That one? Yeah. You want him to jump in with you, or you want to get the controls down yourself first? Yeah, I'll have him jump in. They're real simple. Okay. Let him drive. All right, they're gonna pull up here, and uh, Dan's gonna give Manuel a crash course. They even brought another guy over to help us shovel it out if we need to shovel it, right? <laughs> All right, man. Right. Good. Nice looking unit. You know that? It, it's the visibility. We could probably hire you to come over and run it on Sundays, <laughs> wouldn't we? <laughs> If need be, I guess we work out something. <laughs> Dan just gave Emmanuel a little crash course. He's just going to pull up in front of this bay here, offload it, and then we'll put a, a big load on it here and uh, run it over the barn and unload it. It's basically the same chassis that the vac truck is on controls are all similar as far as driving the unit back and forth and then all of his functions for the conveyor belt and the speed up and slow down the bed chain are all on his armrest control unit there we'll get in there on one of the loads that he ends up dumping uh in the barn to show you how the controls work
you gonna be able to handle it? <laughs> Minimal. Yeah. Spillage. Yeah. All right, so he's gonna put a load on there. Once he backs, once he gets this loaded and backs out of the way, We'll see what kind of sand he left on the ground, but you can clearly see that there is minimal spill out coming off of that belt and the conveyor chain itself. So we'll get, he'll get a load on there and we'll go back across the scale and then we'll run over to the barn that he's gonna be putting it in. See how it works in the barn. All right, while well, he's loading that noon uh, sand truck up, we're just running this bench across the scale to see what it weighs empty. And this one weighs 18 uh, two. So it's about 6,000 pounds lighter noon if i remember right last night i weighed this and i got to go back to the video i did last night this with a load of sand on weighed 45 5 or something like that so it looks like he has this truck loaded the noon that is and we'll uh we'll see what that one weighs with a full load on it Manuel, hey! Hey, how many bucket loads did you put on this one compared? Four, four on this one. Yeah. How many do you usually put on the other one? Uh, three and a half. Three and a half. So you got a little more on now. Well, the floor is not too full. The back is, you know, maybe the same. Okay. All right, okay. All right, run it across the scale. All right, he said he put four bucket loads on this. It's got quite a bit more that he could actually put on there, uh, but it's a, just a little bit more than he regularly puts on uh, the mench. He's just pulling out of the way here. This is where he offloaded, and he may be there might be a, a tenth of a five gallon pail's worth of sand uh, on the ground that's spilled off of the apron chain and the, I guess there's a little more than that. That's what came off of the apron, or the uh, belt and the uh, bed chain. So he'll run across the scale, we'll get a weight of it to see in comparison to how much the how much it has on it compared to what the mench had the mench had a pretty good size rounded up load and this one would probably hold i don't know another two bucket loads scale reading all right he's getting ready to pull on the scale here that was what, 24.5? 24.5 empty weight. And he has a loaded weight of 49,000. So he's got 12 and a half ton on there. Did I do the math right on that? I'm pretty good with that math, ain't I? <laughs> I just make up the thing. <laughs> So this is the first load that will be dumping into the stalls off of this noon sand truck. Now we dump some 
in the commodity shed bay just to get the idea of how it works and to make sure everything was going to work. Now we're going to start and bedding these stalls. Now we've got the same amount of weight on this machine as we had on the mench truck last night, which that truck on the that load on the mench truck was a rounded up load. This one here this load that we have on this one would have held a lot more and we are going to uh, put a larger load on it the next time we load it. So it looks like he's going to need to get a little closer to the stall.
press the button there. Yep. Speed and uh, belt, yeah. delivery belt, that. Yeah. Uh, wow, more, it's like a rotary toggle yeah. switch. A lot of functions are right on the actual joystick. these stalls and I'll get back to you here. He did 21 stalls there all together. We've got a little bit of spillage at the curb here. Um, once he got his over a little farther he did a little better job uh, getting it all in the stall. But all in all that's uh, pretty good. Very minimal amount here on the floor. And then we'll get a video of the Mensch truck uh, dumping in here as well. All right, here is load number two. I did not get over there to the scale in time. Hey, did you have to look at the scale? How much did you have? What'd you gross? How much? Four bucket loads? Okay, you didn't look at the scale though, did you? Oh, you didn't. Here. He didn't get to the scale, but he's got four full bucket loads on there. We'll, uh, we'll get a weight of this when he's got a little more on it, just to give you an idea how much it'll actually hold compared to what the uh, mench holds. Now he's gonna change up his technique a little bit here. He's a little more used to being able to run that machine. We're gonna see if we can't uh, eliminate some of that sand that's splashed up against the curb. We were discussing a few things while he was off uh, getting this loaded up. What he's not used to is the belt being underneath the cab and he can actually look out the right hand side on the mench. It's so much farther up front of him. And it looks like it's doing a little better job now. They were running that belt quite a bit faster. Um, they're going to try to slow the belt down, get him moved over a little bit.
looks a lot better there. Yep. There you go. All right, what is he down to for speed now? Uh, let me go check. No, you don't have to check. No. He slowed it down, slowed the belt down, got closer, and we are very good there now. Very good. I mean, there's hardly anything. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot better. What is that belt speed at now? How much you at? 50%. Okay. That's a lot better. A lot better. Yeah, that's a lot better. So this is load number two. And he's decreased the spill out to about 10% of what it was, five to 10% of what he was spilling uh, here earlier on the first load. Here's where he started, here. That's the last load there. And you can definitely tell a huge difference doing a lot better job now very minimal amount on the floor First load was bedding the actual dry cow section. Dry cow stop where that gate is, and then we've got uh, bread heifers down to that point. Uh, and then breeding age heifers are in the next group, the group he's going into now. We do have this sort gate uh, deal. Just a, it's a drop gate uh, that we get animals from one side of the alleyway to the other. That every once in a while does creep down, but he was able to get by that uh, without any problem. Once in a while, the cows will push on that and it ends up down a little bit, so he just has to make sure he keeps an eye on that. We probably should put a chain around it up top here. But there was very minimal spill out on that. Uh, these bunch of stalls here. We're repeating ourselves, but we have to bring that up because we did notice quite a bit uh, getting spilled down there. So this is where he adjusted himself from there uh, down. adjust the camera a little bit so I'm hoping everybody can see that we're going to repeat ourselves a little bit but once he adjusted himself he was a lot better with how much he spilled again uh, I had to adjust the camera because of the lighting in the barn here so he is just about empty he'll go grab his third load and hopefully we can get over there to get a weight of what he has on. All right, we're gonna go over and load uh, load up both units here. He got he had a little bit more on. We're gonna load him up heavier. See if we can't get a few more stalls bedded here. These heifer stalls are a little narrower than the uh, cow stalls. Uh, what are we at here? So we're going to count the stalls, but uh, we're at 40 inches, so it's kind of unfair to count 
how many stalls we have uh, bedded on that load, but we'll count them anyways. So he bedded 18 52 inch stalls and uh, 17 40 inch stalls. So you guys can do the math on that. That first load did 21 52 inch stalls. All right, so he has a more rounded up load now. This would probably be as much as he would ever load on to it. First axle weighs 34.5, and he is grossed out at 62,500 pounds. 62.5, it weighed, I forget what it weighed. 62.6. 62 62.6, 62 what was he, 24 empty? Yeah, 24 five, yep. So, 18,000, 28, 40, 30, 38,000. 19 ton. 19 ton. 19 ton of sand. <laughs> Yeah, 19 ton of sand on there. All right, that third load just went through here on the noon. Manuel is jump seats. That had uh, 19 ton on it. This has got about oh, 13, 12 or 13. Uh, it grossed out at 45,000. the same amount in each stall here. That's just to give you an idea of the comparison between the two uh, sand trucks. Got a little bit more spilling off the belt on this one. Quite a bit more spilling on the floor coming off of the belt. And you'll also notice that this sand truck has only got one drive motor on the belt right there. Whereas the Noon has a drive motor on each side. And it's got different um, rollers underneath the belt in the center. And the belt's not all the time doing this. The door the noon the adjusting door is hydraulic whereas this one is just a manual crank it's not as bad as we originally thought but he started about here somewhere a little bit more next to the curb than what we have back here with the uh, noon as far as what's on the floor I guess we got about the same amount on the floor in the middle so that'll give you an idea Those two sand trucks work, and I think they did a really nice job putting that noon sand truck together. It works really well, and we'll have to see how things go here. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. I want to thank everybody for watching, and we will... Catch you at the next one.